Hi, every. It is me, Bonkai922. Now, uh, the fall has started, obviously, and people are chatting in Facebook land. Um, I think this was a troll post on Facebook. Someone was saying about how this show, the Gun New Gundam series, was bad. I watched episode one. No, it's not bad. At least for the time being, it's not bad. Um, logistically, it's got a good setup. It does. An interesting setup. Um, uh, and I will say it's a setup we've seen in Gundam. The actual Gundam itself, I will say, is bad boss as fuck. It's a whole lot better than the last one. Uh, I mean, the last Gundam series, that series... It felt like good Gundam, but it just was... Ugh. Now, we'll see. We'll see for this series. And then what, uh, what, this is going to be my episode 1 review of it. Um, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Now, this is logistically the summary. 300 years after the Calamity War, Calamity War, the powers which ruled the Earth's sphere have been overthrown, giving way to new rulers of the New World. The exhausted of battle, meanwhile, far away on Mars, the sparks which threatened to ignite a new war have been struck. Our protagonist, Mika, I'm going to call him Mika, because, you know, August, a member of the private security forum tri Christ. Guard security, CGS, takes on a mission of a best bodyguard of Kudelia Ina Bernstein, a young girl who agitates for Christ's independence from Earth. However, when the elite Jalar Horn unit, charged with suppressing revolutionaries, raids CGS, its higher ups deliberate use Mika and the other boys as decoys to cover their own retreat. Orga Itsuka, leader of the boys' squad, takes this abandonment by the adults as motivation to launch its full-fledged coup d'etat with orders from Orga to hold back Galahorn. Mika sorties in a Calamity War era scrap that CGS has been using as a generator, the Gundam Barbados. They're using it for a generator. You heard that correctly. Now, the summary looks legit. I liked, as far as the first episode was concerned, I liked the protagonist. I like what's going on with the protagonist. Um, it reminds me, I don't want to bring up Double O, but the protagonist's background and his friend, obviously... It kind of reminds me of Double O. A little bit, a little bit. With the moon maybe I has with Double O. But it's got a good setup. We have this princess who, you know, they're obviously going to protect her and everything. And as far as the Gundam itself, it's boss as fuck. It really is Barbados. It really is um, impressive. It has a. I don't know what the. Fuck this weapon is, but his boss is just ridiculous. It's kind of like a spear, but at the end of it, it's just like, it's like a fucking, I don't know what it is. It's like got these spikes and shit on it, and it's just like, it's like a huge melee weapon. It's a change from traditional, you know, beam swords, but from what I'm seeing, as far as the concept, as far as the story is concerned, Pretty damn good. For first episode, story-wise and character-wise, possibly a four. Animation, by the way, is off the charts. Definitely five out of five minutes for his animation. As far as the series is concerned so far, for the first episode, I'd say four out of five. To the naysayers who say, oh, this episode's <laughs> You gotta at least give this series ten a chance. 
You can't just call it off and say it sucks. Man. But, we'll see with this one. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen a really great Gundam series in a while. Recently came out. I think the only recent one that you can honestly say is awesome. Unicorn. That, that, and that, that's saying a lot because that's only what? That's an OVA. That's not even a full Gundam series. But, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying because the last two we've had. Sorry. I mean, crap. <laughs> it, they happen. I mean, I, I don't know how many people in the community, what their thoughts are of Gundam Age. It was okay, but the problem I have with that series is they tried to squeeze in an entire war in one series. And they basically had them. This guy, and then he gives his Gundam is is passed down to his his son, and then this that guy that that person sent it to his other son. It's basically a three generation piloting Gundam. The Gundam Age. Um so but regardless, the last Gundam series I just fell off of. It wasn't it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Um, this one, I think, will be a different story. And regardless of what anyone has to say, I truly believe this one is not going to be like Will Gustas and G. I don't think it's going to be like that. The animation is spot on. The story can prove to have some merit. And it could prove to be a really good one. Um, the mobile suits that we're using, the enemies were using, was kind of interesting. It reminded me of Code Geass. Not like, you know, they were moving with wheels, but the, the, one of the mobile suits' his head opens up. And it's like a face. And I think it was a cannon or something. It was kind of strange looking. Kind of reminded me a little bit of the Kogias in a way. But for, for what I'm seeing so far, 4 out of 5 for the first episode. It can... I will see. I will see. The limit I will give this. If it's... If I find out late, very soon as I'm watching these episodes. And I'll say like probably like episode 4 or 5. Because you have at least, you've got it with at least give a series. Ah, that's my, my, this is my point of view on it. You have to at least give a series four or, dare I say, five episodes a chance. At least four or five. Three, the least. The least amount of episodes is three. The maximum is five. To at least show you what it's what it's all about. Um, hopefully this series, this Gundam series, really hits it home. Cause I don't know if everyone notices. I'm on a Gundam high. Like I need it. I need it. It's like, cause I've been watching Zeta Gundam, and let me tell you something right now. That shit is fire. So, so I need Gundam High. I need, I need it like a fucking drug. It's, 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 it's bona fide. It's just, I need it. I need it. So, if this series pulls out through, pretty damn good. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not totally into it yet. I want to see some more episodes. But so far, I like what I see. And the Gundam looks fierce as fuck. The last series they had a Gundam, that Gundam, I'm sorry, it wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't. I mean, there were some deaths in that fucking series, but still, it just wasn't, I just dropped off. It just wasn't clicking. It just wasn't. But, yeah, that's pretty much the story there. Bonka 922, see you guys later. I will, during the week, get to these anime series reviews. 
Um, I'm probably not going to do Torah this week. I'm probably going to basically, after Comic-Con on Saturday, do Torah. Um, and along with some other videos, obviously, I'll be doing getting some shit. Some swag. But look forward to that. Um, and yeah, I guess One Punch Man, I'll leave for later today. And I'll upload this again. So yeah, I'm Bonk and I, so I'll see you guys later. We'll see what Bar... Barbados? Friend of Barbados? He looks be it looks beast as fuck. It does. But they have a shield. I can guess later on they're gonna have a shield or something. It's gonna have some kind of weapons. Because that, that that melee weapon. Woo Yo, it's like curse a skull on that shit. <laughs> skull crusher. I'll see you guys later. Peace.